Hello and welcome to the topic what is media English for media students the word media comes from a word medium and it's similar of media it means a method of expressing something it may also mean a way of expressing something we move on to the next media may be singular and may also be used as plural if it is used as singular we can say media is everywhere we can also say what is media if it is used as plural we can say media are everywhere we can also say what are media in the past media as plural form was used frequently but in modern time it is mostly used in singular form like those of data or agenda we move on to the next what is media media is the different channels or ways in which news entertainment marketing messages or other information is spread it refers to all means of communication it includes print or online newspapers and magazines television radio billboards telephone internet fax and billboard types of media we have basically two different types of media the first one is print media and the second one is electronic media let's first discuss about print media what is print media anything that is printed on paper with the purpose of sharing with people may be termed as print media we have some more points it is the oldest type of media since long we have been using this media that is to say print media we continue about print media print media demands readers to be literate as it needs to read the information if you are not literate you cannot read you cannot have full advantage of print media we have next it needs more time to edit and update as the new printed materials take time to be released and you know print media is time taking we edit and we update we print and we distribute so it needs more time to manage things okay next we continue about print media print media is not available 24 hours and 7 days that's very much clear it comes in interval for instance daily fortnightly monthly or quarterly etc it depends upon we have daily newspaper sometimes we have fortnightly magazine monthly magazine or quarterly journal something like this so it comes in interval not like every moment every second as we have in electronic media okay we continue about print media print media consumes time is time taking is time consuming okay it disseminates information slowly means the information that spreads takes time to reach people we can have examples of print media and the most famous example of print media is newspapers and we can see different types of newspapers in the picture itself we have another examples of print media journals and we can see different types of journals like journal of historical geography journal of islamic studies journal of african affairs general of language in society so we have this example of print media then we have the examples of print media as magazines and we can see different types of magazines when we go to the railway station at the airport or at the bookstore then examples of print media thus books we can see different types of books they are the best examples of print media too examples of print media we can include reports reports of a company or any organization we can have half yearly report annual report and so on they could be taken as examples of print media what is electronic media electronic media as we can define it delivers news and information through electronic medium we have some other ideas electronic media is the advanced form of media we continue our discussion about electronic media electronic media can be quickly edited and updated the next one is electronic media is available 24 hours and 7 days that is to say all the time all the moments we have some more ideas about electronic media it can be accessed anywhere at any time just with an electronic device like a smartphone or laptop we have the next point electronic media is more viewer friendly let's have some more ideas about electronic media and it is electronic media is eco friendly live show live discussion live reporting is possible 
in electronic media. We have examples of electronic media. Radio is the most popular one, but unfortunately now we don't use it anymore that much. We have television that we always watch and we can see that uh, this is the radio and this one is television. Best examples of electronic media. We have some more examples of electronic media. We can have mobile, we can also have computer and we can see the picture of mobile and we already know what is computer. We have some more examples of electronic media maybe included like social media, streaming media, digital media, telephone, blogs, video games and we have a number of electronic media. In fact, these days our life is unimaginable without electronic media. What is mass media? In this lesson, we will discuss about functions of mass media, characteristics of mass media, types of mass media and examples of mass media. Let's discuss each one of them in detail. What is mass media? Mass media means technology that is intended to reach a mass audience. We have the next point. In other words, we can say that technology that allows communication to reach a large section of public. We have some more ideas about what is mass media. It is the primary means of communication to reach a vast majority of people. In fact, the general public primarily relies on the mass media for information regarding entertainment, social and political views. We have now functions of mass media. One of the most important functions of mass media is to provide information to the people. Mass media helps companies run endless ads to reach people with their targeted goals. We have some more ideas. Mass media assists brands to connect with the audience. We have some more ideas about functions of mass media. It also helps in building brand awareness. The next one is mass media not only informs but also educates and entertains people in a wide variety of ways. Mass media provides the most effective ways to convey message to the audience. Now we have characteristics of mass media. The first one is it appeals to a wide target audience. It communicates a public message. We have the next one. There is a distance between a source of information and those who obtain it and those who receive the information. We have some more ideas about characteristics of mass media. It can be transmitted through various channels such as TV, the internet, radio and newspapers. Some more ideas about characteristics. It has a heterogeneous audience. Heterogeneous here refers to audience coming from different social, economic and political background. News or information communicated through TV, radio and print media can't receive immediate feedback. Now we have types of mass media and we have different types. The first one is print media. Second one is broadcasting media. Third one is electronic media or digital media. And the last one is outdoor media. Let's discuss each one of them in detail. What's print media? It can range from billboards to coupons. It is one of the oldest ways to reach the masses. Originally, the print media referred to newspapers, which were the primary sources of information. And the last one is, further, this type of media includes journals, books, and magazines. Now we have broadcasting media. And the first point is, broadcasting media includes television and radio. The next idea is, they appeal to heterogeneous audiences coming from different age, background, views, goals and interests. We have some more ideas. With the help of an electronic broadcasting medium, audio and video content is distributed to a dispersed audience. Now we have electronic or sometimes we call it digital media. What is that? There are around 4.66 billion active internet users worldwide according to data collected in 2021. It means that the world is dependent on digital media and day by day the number is growing as you can see. Today, brands promote their goods and services through sites such as YouTube, podcasts and more. Besides, companies often implement Instagram marketing and Facebook advertising to pitch their products. We have 
outdoor media. The first point in this direction is ambient marketing is an excellent example of modern outdoor media. We have the next one. Brands use unusual locations and items to promote their products. We have the third one. A unique and eye-catching place may serve the purpose for companies to promote their products. And we have example in this direction. Let's take Folger. For instance, this brand of coffee used manhole covers to promote coffee in a unique way. Therefore, places like bus stops, public transport and buildings can serve creative companies as places for promotion.